हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द यूनिट टेस्टिंग सो द यूनिट टेस्टिंग इज मेनली फोकस ऑन द स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन इट फोकस ऑन द स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन सो दैट इज लाइक मॉड्यूल्स it is focused on the modules or software components like that so means it's just uh, focusing on the small units the complete structure is divided into different different levels so it is taking on the smallest element in the software design and try to test on that smallest unit again after that they it integrated to the main uh, next level module and again they tested like that so the here the unit testing is only focus on the smallest element of the software design so it make heavy use of uh, the main thing is it make uh, it make heavy use of white box testing so actually the white box testing i will explain in the coming videos but white box testing is mainly focus on the internal struct code of the uh, structure of the module means completely it is uh, testing on testing done on internal structure internal code internal code or structure so unit testing means it is the smallest element so if you want to test that uh, uh, smallest element you need the white box testing methodology if you uh, follow the white box me uh, testing methodology then you can find out if any error is occurred or not you can easily find out the white box testing is nothing but is a testing done on internal code or a structure okay so ma mainly the unit testing will use the white box testing methodology so unit testing is the smallest testable parts of an application called as units and are tested independently so you have to be remember that here the testing will be done on the individual uh, units independently let me take an example that is a calculator so the calculator is uh, one of the product let us take it is one of the product so this complete system the calculator is a system this system i divided into sub systems means the sub modules so rather than working on a complete uh, module i divided the module into units a small units so that is uh, i am doing the i am checking the operations is the addition is working properly or not subtraction multiplication is working or not so the testing that is done on this individual modules you call it as unit testing so how i am going to test this uh, uh, individual modules so it this test has to be done independently means there is no de uh, dependency relation between these units so addition is not dependent on subtraction subtraction is not dependent on multiplication so every module every unit is uh, tested independently so this unit testing can be uh, taken the help of methodology of white boxing testing uh, the testing that can be done in on internal code okay. so this is about uh, unit testing let me explain some more example with let us take any software engineering okay so the software engineering uh, divide the product or modules into different modules means sub modules module to be tested each module he divided into modules and here the each module to be tested after testing the each module all has to be integrated and then final result will be appeared result will be sent to the means the output will be given to the customers whatever it may be so the software engineer uh, has uh, going to divide the complete system into modules and that modules has to be tested and then the result will be appear so these modules will be tested based on some test cases a different test cases will be there 
take each module okay take each module and apply the test cases on the each module so what are the test cases here the test cases here is nothing but the interfaces you have to check each module with interfaces local data structures local data structures and uh, error handling uh, paths error handling paths or else boundary conditions boundary conditions so the test case has to be done on all these uh, uh, components and you have to test the each module each module will be tested based on the test cases of whether the interfaces will be there means the interface consider if you take the interface consideration uh, here you have you are going to check about number of uh, input parameters or equal to the number of arguments or not uh, and here the global variables definition is consistency or not that's all comes under the interfaces so on the that uh, interfaces the test case has to be checked and the local data structures the local data structure consideration here is it is going to check whether the incorrect variables names is there or not means is present it inconsistent data types are there here or not and underflow overflow and addressing exceptions are erased so that will be done so based on the local data structures the test cases will be done and it will be uh, tested on each module okay and some uh, error handling paths whether it is checking all the error handling paths will be how it is going to handle the error handling means the exception handling is incorrect it is going to check whether the exception handling is incorrect error description insufficient or the error description is incorrect like that so uh, it is going to test on each component and that will be solved in each module and finally the result will be appeared on the screen so this is about the unit testing so you have to take the system and that system is divided into modules each module is uh, divided into sub modules up to still the uh, to the smallest element so just take the smallest element and perform the unit test on there so if you want to done on the unit test on each module each smallest element you have to follow these test cases means you have to check on the each smallest element whether the interfaces are working is correctly or not data structures are properly working or not is the error handling techniques are provided or not is there any bound it is crossing the boundary conditions or not so that has to be checked and you have to give the final result this is about unit testing thank you